Hi, Charlie Kosorek, Jack Bench Woodworking, and it's time for me to do a shop update. I mean, it's really time for me to do a shop update. I've been uh, pretty much off the grid and off of YouTube anyway for well over a month. And uh, prior to that, um, I was uh, not very active for the month prior to that either. So what's been going on? Um, well, you know, last fall, I, uh, I talked about doing a video once a week, trying to do a once a week schedule. And I did that. I, I did that. I put out a lot of videos and uh, it went pretty well. But I really wasn't enjoying it that much. It was it was work, and you know, putting out these videos really is work if you haven't done it. Um, it really is, but that's fine. I don't mind that. But it was it wasn't fun for me, and so um, I want I'm going to back off on that. I'm not going to be doing a video every week. I uh, I'm going to try to do every two maybe three weeks. And that'll allow me uh, the time to uh, do the quality level of video that I want to do and uh, the projects I want to do and um, some of the side projects that I'm working on. And I'll talk more about some of that uh, in a little while here. So anyway, I'm going to back off on uh, the once a week schedule, but I'm absolutely no way do I want to get off of YouTube because I really do like doing this and I think it's worthwhile. So what have I been doing? Well, what I have been doing, I took a road trip. I, took, uh, I was on the road for about three weeks. I went to Phoenix, I went to Vegas, and I went to uh, Denver. So before I left, I got a hold of uh, Ty Moser, a friend of mine down in Phoenix, and I asked him about uh, maybe organizing a meetup while I was down there. And Ty says, hey, great idea, let's do it. So he, he organized a meetup and uh, we had a great time. We had, I'd say, 20, 25 people down there. Uh, Braxton Worthland came, um, Chad Schimmel was there. I got to meet uh, Sadie Mae John, the awesome orange. She's active on Instagram, very, very uh, uh, nice person. And uh, Diane from Good to the Green and so many other people, I can't even remember them all. It was so much fun. Um, so, oh, and Ron, oh, Ron from Little Weird Shop, Ron gave me this uh, sticker. I really enjoyed talking to him. So uh, that was the meetup in uh, Phoenix. And then also while I was down there, I did a video with Ty. Ty, he does all sorts of different things, but what he uh, has been doing quite a bit of lately has been casting and stabilization of wood and all kinds of different weird things, uh, you know, pine cones and turning them into pen blanks and mallet heads. And uh, I've never done that. And so I was interested in it. And so we did a video. Ty showed me his process. And uh, hopefully I'll have that video out uh, sometime soon. So after Phoenix, I drove up to Vegas, and I've got some family there, but I did a lot of woodworking type of stuff while I was there too. Uh, I met with Braxton Worthland while I was there. Braxton, you know, he's a friend of mine. I did a video with him last year, and Braxton is getting into uh, doing a lot of turning, bowl turning, and he's really, he's getting pretty good. He's been uh, studying and uh, practicing, and he's really getting pretty darn good at it. And I've never really uh, done much, much turning or bowl turning at all. And so, well, maybe very little. So anyway, um, uh, we decided to do a video on bowl turning. And so he showed me, he gave me some schooling on bowl turning. And we turned this nice little uh, maple bowl while I was there with him. And uh, I learned a lot of tricks and some cool stuff. And so <clears throat> I will get that video out um, hopefully sometime in the near future too. And then also while I was in Vegas, I met with uh, Bill Lavosley, a One Car Workshop, and Bill's got the uh, podcast now, Makers Hustle, and it was a lot of fun hanging out with Bill. We didn't uh, do any videos, but um, uh, he's a good guy, and I really enjoyed uh, spending time with him while I was there. So then, from Vegas, I drove up to Denver, and uh, my friend Andy Klein is in Denver. And so I had contacted him ahead of time, and same thing as, Vegas, as Phoenix, I mean. I said, hey, how about if we uh, do a meetup while I'm there? And he said, hey, cool, great idea, <laughs> let's do it. So he, uh, he set something up, he found a, a location, and we uh, scheduled it to be there. And it was fantastic. We had a tremendous turnout. Um, I'd like to say that they were all there to see me, but honestly, part of it was that uh, Mark Spagnolo, Wood Whisperer, just moved to Denver, and he was there, so a lot of people showed up to see him, which is fine. I like Mark. I really do. I'm getting to like him more and more every time I meet him. But um, 
we had a good turnout and I got to meet a lot of people who I have been interacting with quite a bit on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, Rick Wilkie, he gave me this little uh, refrigerator magnet with his logo on it. Uh, James Jacob, uh, Shogun Jimmy, he's got his own YouTube channel, as does Rick for that matter, and he gave me his sticker. And Jimmy also gave me this cool uh, pen that he made, so thank you so much, uh, Jimmy, for that. I love it. And um, so what else? Oh, Rory May, uh, Dirty Smith, I talked to him for a while uh, while I was there, and um, oh, what a guy. Really impressed with him. So, um, and then like I said, there were like 30, 40 people there. It was really a good time. So also while I was in Denver, of course, you know, Andy Klein is there. And Andy, as you may know, uh, we have been working on a new type of woodworking vise. And last year I made the prototype, the first prototype for it. And then we um, uh, got a hold of a uh, manufacturer in Detroit. Andy and I flew out to Detroit last April to meet with the manufacturer and uh, talk about the vise design and the manufacturer. Uh, the, uh, his, he agreed back then that he would take the prototype that I made and uh, refine that and try to come up with something that was a little bit more um, manufacturable, I guess, yes. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Anyway, um, he was a good guy, but he was very, very, very slow. He was caught up in some other projects, and it took him several months to get back to us. Well, he finally did, though. And he came up with a, a second iteration of the vice, and it was better. It was a little better than what I we'd first come up with, but um, it's still not quite there. So while I was in Denver, uh, Andy and I talked about you know different ways that uh, we could improve on the design, and uh, I, we're going to be building another prototype. I'm going to do some of the pieces here. Andy's already started working on some of the stuff uh, in Denver, and he's got a video on that. I will have a link to. Andy's video uh, here, so check that out. And uh, you'll be hearing a lot more about that because uh, it, it's a pretty cool design and I really, I'm pretty excited. I think, uh, I think when it gets to market, the people are really gonna, really gonna like this. So anyway, that's uh, what, what happened in Denver. After that, well then I came home. <laughs> I do have a featured video this week. My featured video is from Sterling Davis. Uh, Sterling is a cool guy. I met him when I was at WIA uh, last year in Cincinnati. And Sterling put out a video recently on how he makes uh, picture frames. And he's got a, a very clever, unique take on how to get uh, accurate miters on the picture frame. And um, it, it's so different that I, I think it's worth, worth a watch. So I have a link to that uh, in the description here. Finally, my viewer project, another guy I met while I was in Denver is a guy named Mike Zellman. And Mike built this buffet. It's, uh, he's got maple, and I think that's figured cherry. Uh, it looks fantastic, but the really uh, high point of that piece, not that it isn't a great piece just as it is, but the marquetry on there is just off the chart. It's fabulous marquetry. So Mike, it was great talking to you and uh, thanks so much for sending that uh, your pictures to me because uh, it's great work. I really appreciate looking at that. So that's what's been going on with me lately. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little update. I will have links, like I said, to uh, Andy's video. I'll have a link to uh, Rick Wilkie's uh, YouTube channel, uh, Shogun Jimmy. I'll have a link to his channel and uh, the Sterling Davis video and um, every, a few other things that I mentioned. I'll make sure I have all the links in the description here. So, thanks for watching.